Good morning, church family and Facebook friends. It's good to be with you this morning. Our devotion time is going to be in Philippians chapter 4, verses 1 through 4, where the Apostle Paul says, Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Eodius and beseech Syntyche that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord alway, and again I say rejoice. The Apostle Paul now, as he's going to begin to conclude this letter to the Philippians, he, he comes back to this idea of the same mind in the Lord. And he mentions a couple of people in the church, says, you guys need to be of the same mind. It's probably the only correction found in the book of Philippians to Eodius and Syntyche, that they be of the same mind. But he also says to us that we're to uh, help those that are laborers in the, the gospel with us. We're to work together as a team. And so... He sums that all up with this statement, stand fast in the Lord. When we don't know what else to do, and we don't know which way to go, we can always stand fast in the Lord. We can stand firm on the promises of God's word. We can stand firm in the fact that God loves us. We can stand firm in the fact that God has a plan for us. And so we can stand fast in the Lord. And when we have the same mind and we help those that are involved in the gospel and we stand fast in the Lord, that ought to lead us then to a place of rejoicing. So the Apostle Paul sums up these four verses this way, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. So as we go throughout this day, having the same mind, standing fast in the Lord, helping those who are involved in the gospel. Let's go through this day rejoicing. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Have a great day. I look forward to being with you tomorrow.